Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, newly delivered. Oh, this is my new project. I got a 1973 Yamaha 350. Oh, these were great little bikes back in the day. Uh, they're two cycle, but uh, self mixing. So we've got an oil tank up here. And it mixes with the gas. Um, the front end of this, at least the gauges and the headlights uh, are not original. From what I can tell, you can hear the spare parts, you can see the fairing over here. It looks like somebody was in the process of making this uh, into a drag bike. Um, so I'm going to try to undo that and put this uh, back to its original condition. Uh, they've got some crazy stuff going on here. A little bit worried because uh, we've got, um, it's not running, no keys, tank and everything was off of it. Uh, the guy who bought it. Uh, had had it for about two years and he bought it from a guy who had been in the back of his barn for 20 years um, and supposedly worked then uh, so we'll see it's good you know good compression uh, probably hear it here so uh, Tank's not down yet. No keys, so I can't check inside the tank, but the tank was open, so I think. <laughs> okay. Seat's in remarkable condition. Uh, just some indentations, and I think uh, just going over it with a heat gun uh, might just fix that puppy right up. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm going to open this thing with one hand. And this is literally right off the truck. Um, it's where the container for your ear, ear filter goes. Um, battery. Here's your two-cycle oil. Which goes down to this canister. Which has got a dent. I think I can pull that out. Uh, this has all been painted originally. Uh, I think the color was called ruby red is what the guy was telling me. Uh, whoever was working on this, these are their feed pipes uh, to the twin carbs down here. So one goes to the top, one goes to the bottom. And I think they were just pushing gas in there while they were working on the bike. Um, but if you can actually look at these tubes, I mean, they're just filled with gel. So... Carb rebuild. Uh, obviously, I can't touch, uh, can't test out the clutch. Doesn't work. I can move it down. I definitely hear it click in, in about two or three spots. So um, I think our clutch is probably good. Uh, really amazing. The chrome on this is all in really good shape. A light rust, but uh, not bad at all. Uh, Again, I think they're doing something with the with trying to make this to a drag bike. <clears throat> but you can see up here uh, original coils, and they've got some funky wiring going on. That's that's like a stereo wire. Uh, go figure that. Um, and then they've got those two coils. And then they mounted two bigger coils underneath here. And this is where the turn signals normally go. And then they put these. Off. They put those little 
joke of a turn signals on here. Uh, I imagine just to keep it street legal. Uh, but there was no blink or anything. The only thing uh, that I see that's wrong, and this cooling fin right here has got a big two inch cut out of it. I know I can get uh, replacement block covers. Uh, so definitely gonna have to get one of those. New chain, new light. These are not the original instruments. I'm gonna have to get a whole new instrument cluster. Um, this all appears to be original forks. So it doesn't look like they replaced that. Uh, figure out the wiring. Carb rebuild. Change the oils. And uh, then we'll be ready to get battery. New air filter. Just a couple simple things. And we'll be able to kick it over. See if we get anything. I just put air in the tires. <laughs> uh, they're Dunlops. Uh, flat as anything. I don't expect them to really hold air, but I thought I might. It's a beautiful day out. I thought I might push it out in the driveway and wash it off with some Dawn. Um, but she's got some good bones. So that's where we're at. I'll put the original handlebars on it. Yeah, check this out. This is the Brake Master. I opened this up. Look at that, man. Oh my God. That's something. Uh, so probably new brake lines. Uh, although they actually look in good shape. The rubber's not cracked or anything. Uh, but you don't mess around with that stuff. Here's a 73. Probably can't get around there. Um, I think the date on it uh, is 11. Uh, so that's November 72 was when this was manufactured. So it was one of the early 73 models. Um, so no idea of the mileage. Like I said, somebody replaced the uh, console. According to this, it's got 6.8 miles on it. So I think it's a good engine. <laughs> um, no title, but I did a uh, criminal background search on it. Uh, and the, the frame and the engine and everything all match. So I tend to believe uh, this really is a barn find. Somebody had it back in their garage for a million years. And this guy, really nice guy, um, posted on Craigslist. Uh, ended up getting it for 650 bucks. It's a lot of work, a lot of things to replace. Uh, but I figure this is going to be one heck of a project. Keep me busy, out of trouble most nights and weekends. Uh, and I'm going to try to restore it to factory condition, which is something I've never done before. I've always restored old bikes just to really writability state. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Here's the fairings and the parts, sissy bar tank from where the guy was trying to, you know, back in 74, 84, whatever, trying to turn it into a uh, dragster. It does have a chain, but I won't use it. An original color on it. <clears throat> you can actually kind of see it poking through there. It's a real pretty red. And it's actually, uh, the camera doesn't do justice, but it's got a lot of flake in it. And you can see, if you get the light right, you can really see a glimmer. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and this thing, I'll probably just post on eBay. I'm sure somebody will want a 1974 drag racing fair. Tank, sissy bar, which I probably won't put on there. I don't think that's stock. Uh, but I got to do some research, get the service manual, manuals off of Google, etc. So, there we go, guys.
next project.